Welcome to Amateur Hour. This is Amateur Hour. This should be a this should be a rousing time. We're here. This arousing. Is <laughs> You're are you I'm aroused, aroused right now? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna wait a really long time and hope that everyone thought that I died or uh, you guys dead. kicked me out of the podcast or something like that. <laughs> just he's like, dead. So Mr. Fantas was not on this one, huh? No, he's upstairs in his room. He's about to call in. I'm about to. He's about to call in you sick. Know, you, know, you realize the joke's off by by now. I've already talked. The joke's off by now. Yeah. <laughs> what joke? Yeah, I don't know. We never. We think we have a lot of jokes in this podcast, but there's never really any jokes. Did you see how Almost you're the only no one that laughed right there? Welcome. What? Did you see how you're the only one that laughed? Yeah. Sometimes you gotta laugh at yourself. Laugh at yourself. I'll kill you, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> you guys Here we go gonna, again. You guys are gonna be murdering each other and you're la- and laughing at yourself at the same time. I'll murder you in my sleep. You know, have you have you ever uh, had a dream that it was? Were you were sleep paralysis. <laughs> <laughs> I I no, kind of remember that. Yeah, have no, you ever dreamed? No, it's like you're, you're maybe not. This sounds so much like sleep paralysis, but you're maybe <laughs> not like fully in a dream state, and you you're like doing something in the dream, and it makes you like jump or do something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Where like you fall asleep and then you fall like off a cliff in the dream. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've like <laughs> fell asleep and like when I was in class before. And like, oh, like something scares me. You always like move. And you're like, <gasps> you look around. Like everybody's like looking at you. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? You fall yeah. asleep in class? Yeah, like in like college. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, in college. That's yeah. what we do. In yeah. every class of my whole life, I fall asleep. In. <laughs> I just have this problem. I just fall asleep randomly. So, oh. and, and then you always wake up startled. No, like, uh, like th- th- it just happened this one time. I was having a crazy dream, and something jumped, and I like jumped, and my chair moved back, and my eye moved back, and everything. And I was like. <laughs> Uh, nothing. I'm not doing anything. Was it a small class? Yeah, it's like yeah, it was like a, I was a art class. Oh wow, it was a painting class. I so everyone already class. knew you were asleep. Yeah, uh, I was wearing glasses though. I guess they're, oh, they're that's used, got you were shades, shades with, in with, class. With eyeballs in the shades. So they either thought you were drunk, stoned, or asleep. <laughs> All of those are bad things to All be in class. All not the above. Dude, yeah, one time, one time I fell asleep in class, and then class was dismissed, and I didn't wake up. And Holy my teacher, shit. she was so hot, and she came up, she grabbed me. She grabbed your like my on balls. the genitalia. She yeah. grabbed your balls. Yeah, just kidding. Oh. That was a porno I saw. This, once. this, I, I fell asleep. Wait, and... wait, none of that story was true. Oh, none of that was true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this one time I fell asleep in my t- typography class, and my teacher always I fell asleep because class was like at like seven thirty in the morning. This is mm-hmm. when I was in, like in Pittsburgh or whatever. Yeah, at first school. She always, she always fell asleep for maybe like like fifteen minutes, but she would always slam the books. On the table and be like, "All right, Zach, wake the hell up." I'm like, "Okay." She'd yell at you. Like yeah, that? in front of everybody. She said, "Wake the hell up." Yeah. Jesus. I'm surprised she didn't just kick you out of the class. She must have liked me though. Oh, I don't yeah. Know. She must have liked you. Yeah, must have. <laughs> I never got kicked out of class for sleeping. Yeah. Usually they just leave you. They either like leave you there. I saw this one kid like Jack, exactly almost what Jim said. Not no nut grabbing though. Yeah. The teacher's like left. We all left. And the kid was still sleeping in there. We <laughs> yeah. didn't wake him up at all. Yeah, there's been a couple times with kids have fallen asleep in my class, and some of the times they'll like start snoring. And it's like, oh Jesus, what are you doing? <laughs> How are you snoring? Yeah, I guess at uh, at my job, a uh, guy who used to work there uh, a while back, I heard some stories about him. But he would just come in hungover every single day. He'd Holy be hungover, shit, really? and he would just fall asleep at his desk, and and they were like. And we don't mean like he was just dozing off, like, like his head was asleep. not. He was just <laughs> leaned back in his chair, just like <laughs> mouth okay, open, just just going to town on this sleep <laughs> fest. Holy shit! Yeah, Where's your boss? And at? my boss, like the thing about our offices, it's just all desks, so it's all open. You can see everyone, and he just never noticed because he's like off in his own world doing his own stuff. Oh my god! And so god. Uh, a couple of my coworkers like hit up him and up on Skype, and they were like, "Hey." This guy's sleeping again, and he's like, "What do you mean again?" And he just like what went do you over, mean again? Like, went over and tapped on him. He's like, "We need to go talk." Uh, he's like, "This job isn't very hard, and if you're gonna fall asleep, you're fired." <laughs> yeah, and this job is not got, very hard. Yeah. He's like, apparently his whatever he was doing wasn't very hard, which may be why he was like, oh, "I can just get wasted every night and sleep during work." But still, yeah. you kind of <laughs> work gotta maybe two hours awake. a day. Yeah, yeah, that's insane. Yeah. I, I've 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 been at work one time, and I like felt like I was gonna do I do in a Wow, I can't talk. <laughs> I felt like I was like, oh, you gonna, know, my, my eyes were drifting yeah, off for a second, yeah. and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, I had to get some you have coffee. to you have to get up and start moving. Yeah, I've had yeah. that before. Well, yeah, one time uh, at one of my older jobs, I when I was like in like high school or something, I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to be here. 
And I, I got super tired one day, and I just went into the bathroom, and I just sat on the toilet, and I was like, I'm just going to close my eyes. You fell asleep like, on the oh, toilet? Oh, my yeah, God. And I fell asleep, and I woke up to the sound of my phone hitting, you know, that toilet bowl, like that little piece <gasps> of toilet Holy bowl. shit, your phone went in the toilet? No, it bounced <laughs> off oh, of the front of the toilet scared seat the shit out of and you. hit the floor. I was like... I don't really feel like explaining that to my parents. Like, if my phone falls in the toilet, like, why did your phone? Well, I fall asleep at work. It and fell between yeah. my crotch. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, all right, that's enough. That, enough's enough. I cut my <laughs> penis with my phone. So I don't know how, exactly how long I was asleep, but it was, eno- it was enough for me to lose mobile function in my hand. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I remember uh, being in Pittsburgh and working at CVS. And uh, every week, every Saturday, we would do a truck. So we'd unload a truck at like three in the morning. Yeah. So like no rain, snow, sleeting, no matter what. I had to walk all the way to CVS. And my, my, my apartment was probably like a mile and a half away. So I, there was no buses running at the time. So I always had to walk to work. Yeah. Like three in the morning, downtown Pittsburgh. Dark as hell. Not, not hardly any lights on. So three this, in the morning is almost like going to bedtime for crazy people. <laughs> yeah, I know. So that's like so you're like, waking up and going to no, work. No, but I had to be at work at three and I didn't get to leave until noon. Yeah, unloading a truck the entire time. So every not, this happened once, but every every time I'd have to do this every Saturday, mm-hmm. and it was probably the worst. This is probably one of the worst jobs I've ever had in my life working at CVS. Yeah. So I had to lo- I load this truck and I fell asleep in the break room for like a half hour. My boss comes back there and she's like, like hits me with something, and I don't wake up. And then she oh like com- leaves again. She comes back like five minutes later. And she's like, you're still not up. And that scares the shit out of me. I'm like, oh, I didn't mean to fall asleep at all. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, were you falling asleep like... I was like nodding off like... Like where? Like I was I was on my break, like uh, my, my break. Like you get like 15 minute breaks or whatever. Yeah. And I, just, I was sitting at the table like this, like nodding off like with my like... Whole, that nobody can see me right now. Yeah, like so, this. So n- nuzzling my chin with my hand and having my elbow on the table. Gently. And just gently nuzzling it. And just like dozing off, like brushing uh, your two uh, fingers. Uh, and all I, I don't remember. I guess I like my hand slipped out, and my head hit the fucking table, and I still was out cold. What? Like sleeping. Yeah, I woke up like like on the, on the table with my face on the table. Yeah. <laughs> so you think your head hit the table and you were still asleep? Yeah, I was still asleep apparently. <laughs> and my boss came in and like hit me, and I didn't wake You're up. You're like one hit. of those ogres from like. Oh, oh dude, or something. Oh, like, dude, you dude. are like an ogre. <laughs> no, no, my, it's hard to like. like it it is though. It is though. But the thing is, I say stuff when I'm sleeping. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, consciously, I don't know what I'm saying. If only there was a term for that. I don't sleep sleep talk. <laughs> sleep talk, sleepwalking. <laughs> sleep, no, but I used I to sleepwalk. I no, say I stuff to, when, like, I, when I was when younger, I, I used to sleepwalk all the time. Yeah. And my mom got super scared, so she used to lock my bedroom door. Yeah. And then d- double lock the front door, because I would literally walk out. Yeah, I'd start out walking too. everywhere. Yeah. I, used to, I, I tried to sleepwalk and get out of the car when I was a little kid. Holy shit, yeah. really? Yeah, my mom said I like opened the door halfway th- on the freeway one time, and she's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? I sleep, suicide. sleep suicide. Sleep suicide. It's a, it's, I just want to end my life. It's a special club. All my friends told me I, I just do want it. to end my life. <laughs> but anyways, the only reason I brought up this whole sleep thing is to tell you guys. <laughs> um, last night, I was sleeping with Morgan. Hey, oh, hey, 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 and... Hey. Uh, and I remember the dream that I was having because it was like I wasn't fully in the dream because I woke up because she had to go pee or something and woke me up. And when she got back, I was like dozing off again. And I had a dream that you and me, Jim, we were standing on this log in the middle of this what? river. And it was like, it was just like hurtling down this river. And we, and we were like, it's we just like, one log? Yeah, it was, it was one log. And it was like, was it rolling? Like, yeah, it was, trying to keep it was rolling, and we were like running, and we were like trying to help each other. And you were like, it was almost like defying gravity because you would like lean really far one way, and I'd be like, I got you, and I'd run the other way, and you'd pop back up. So we were like working as a team to try and stay afloat, basically. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we both look ahead, and there's a waterfall at, at the end, and all, and for some reason that just that just said to both of us, all right, now we're gonna fight to the death. So we're like, all of, a sudden, all of a sudden we go from we go from helping each other out to like having this karate battle on this log. Oh my and, god! And so like I'm kicking you and I'm kicking you and I go to kick you like to kick you, you off, Morgan. and I accidentally <gasps> need Morgan right in the back. <laughs> oh my god! And she's like, "What? Are you kidding me?" She's like, and then and then I didn't know what to do, so I just acted like I was asleep. <laughs> And she like oh tried to wake God. me up, and I was, I was like, uh, uh, "What?" And she was like, "Do you know what you just did?" And I was like, uh, "Just go back to sleep." <laughs> just go back to sleep, and then it all you just like laying there wide eyed, like, yeah. "Holy shit!" Yeah. I just need Morgan in the back. But I like wasn't. I was did like, "Hit her pretty hard." Yeah, 
I did. She has a huge bruise now. <laughs> yeah, I, I she's gonna know. go into work and be like, "What's wrong with Morgan? My yeah. back hurts. My boyfriend beats me when I'm sleeping." Because <laughs> it was like the finishing kick. Oh my god! And finish him instead of going to the face or right in her back. <laughs> Dude, what if you like were standing up and you just kick Morgan oh, right in the face? God. Yeah, I just like go from a sleeping pose, jump up to the standing position, and just deck Morgan with your so fucking wait, shin. So did she say anything about it in the morning? She did say this morning. She's like, "Do you remember?" Kicking me last night? And you and obviously like, said no. Uh, no, I was like, uh, I think I, I might remember that. I don't know. <laughs> you, should have, you should have still denied it and then said it on here. And then yeah. <laughs> she listens to it. Yeah. That <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I doubt she, I'll doubt she'll listen to this. So hopefully she'll <laughs> Yeah, yeah she's not listening <laughs> to this. Um, but yeah, so that's why. That's the only reason I brought up the whole that's that's fucking thing. That's funny, man. Yeah. So that's what's that's what's new with me. No. <laughs> you know, just I wonder what that means, what that dream means, you know? Yeah, I don't know. That means like we're good friends right now, but later there's gonna be an epic battle. Oh yeah, epic battle. <laughs> battle Jeez. of epic proportions. <laughs> yeah, it was just like we both saw the waterfall and we we're just like, Oh, we're fucked anyways. Let's let's why just, don't we just fight, fight to the to dead. death. <laughs> yeah. This will be the last quick fun fight. Yeah. The quick I, fun one. I kinda wish it would have kept it kept on going. Like I, I could I could just see that story unfolding like oh yeah all of a sudden we're we're right about to go over the edge and zach comes out with all of his bear friends he like he's made friends with a bunch of bears and he just comes out and <laughs> carries us back really? to safety you save us you really? save us in the story a was... bunch of bear friends <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't say anything else bears bears what? are strong and and gay and gay <laughs> <laughs> ah! just kidding no just kidding but seriously uh, that's funny though. That, uh, have you ever had one of those dreams where you're like, "This was that, that was a sick dream," and you woke up and you're like, "Oh my god, I got like three hours left to sleep," and you're like, "I gotta get back in that freaking dream." Bitch. Yeah, I always have dreams like where I'm like having sex or something like that, and I'm like, "God, I gotta get back into that." Oh, me I'm like, too. I'm gonna like, jump god, back into that dream. It? She's freaking Pamela Anderson. My bear fantasy. <laughs> I just gotta get back in. No. I just gotta get back in that you, fantasy. You know, that's the thing. I don't know if I've either just never remembered a sex dream or I've just never had one. But I've like, I've never been like, I'll, I'll have, I'll have times where I'm just like, oh, that's a really hot girl, and then I'll just be like, that's it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> like, oh, that's really like, hot girl. If, if I ever wake get, up, if oh, I ever, if I ever go to approach her or like, sometimes we'll go through the whole process. Like, I'll just be saying all these smooth lines, and I'll be like, all right, let's go back to my place. And then she's like, "All right." And then you wake nothing. up. You play Nintendo or something? Yeah. I'm playing, you play Patty Cake. I'm playing a JRPG or something. A uh, JRPG. I don't know. Is that a JPEG? It's a JPEG. It's <laughs> no, an image file. They're they're tough. A junior so JPEG. I, I had a good. Those I Dream Girls. Good they're tough to woo. The Dream Girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like they're always freaking so tough to woo. You're they're just like, like, come on, and she's like making out with some other dude, and I'm like. Ah, this, this is my dream. This is my dream. And you just go punch him in the face. Yeah. No, just kidding. I don't. I've never had a dream like that. But I, uh, I've had some good, some good, like a dream where I was on the real world and I was banging all the chicks on the show. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Nice. So, but uh, yeah. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> anything? Anything new with the peanut gallery here? Well, what's What's new? With new I saw Captain America last night. Oh, oh the new that? Captain America. Oh, dude, it is. It's. One crazy ride. Yeah? Did yeah. you see the first one? Yes. And what did you th- say? Second that? one, way better than the first yeah. one. The first one, with the th- the first one's basically building a backstory. Yeah. And, and uh, building a more of a, a yeah. story and so- it's like building thing a- into what Captain America really is about, you know? Yeah, it's building a backstory, but I'd, I'd have to say that so were all of the other first Marvel movies. Yeah, I know. I, I enjoyed those. Like one is one of my, this is so sick. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, like I enjoyed, I enjoyed those a lot more than I enjoyed yeah, the first I would Captain say, America. Yeah, I would say so, but I think, I, I don't even think it's the same director. Yeah. Anymore. But yeah, I mean, not the second one's, that. the the second one's like super badass. It's, yeah. It's awesome. Basically, I'm not going to give anything really away, but it builds off of, of the Avengers. Wow. So. Spoiler alert. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's I, it, off the premise of Avengers and what, what he's doing now. Yeah. Well, Isn't it called, like, Captain America Winter Storm Warning or something? Warrior. Winter Storm Winter Warrior. Weather Advisory. Winter, Winter Weather, weather advisory. advisory. In Ohio, it's snow <laughs> Tuesday. Captain America Stage 2 Snowstorm. He just becomes a weather forecaster. It's In bad. Today, it's today's bad. news. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That's when you know you've... But, no, yeah, it. so it was, it was building off that. And yeah. Was, so it was the second Thor, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. The Dark World or whatever. I'd never seen it, though. Mm-hmm. I didn't see the second one. I hated the first wow, one. Wow, I loved the first one. Really? You did? I, that, yeah, I really didn't like it. I really didn't like it Thor? That much. Captain America, Captain, Captain, Captain America was boring. I thought Thor was just Thor's, as boring. Thor's alien world was gay. What? Yeah. 
What about the Dark World with all those monsters and that fight scene in the beginning? I didn't get to see the Dark World. him and Loki were. You didn't you just like come in the half the movie? Oh no, I only saw Thor one. Yeah, that's in the Dark World. Oh yeah, that part's cool. But when they're in his like the little the giant like castle and the rainbow with stars and shit, that shit is stupid. Shit, shit was stupid. Shit was stupid. If he was just on Earth, that'd been better. <laughs> he was on Earth most most of the time. He was up in Star World. Star World. Yeah, that's, that's what it seemed place. like to me. I was like, this is freaking dumb. All right, well, it's so stupid. Every, everyone's a critic. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's see. What was what were the Avengers? It was it was Hulk, which he didn't have. That actor didn't have a introductory video as the Hulk. So, no, yeah. so he's out of it. Yeah. So we have we have Iron Man. Yes. Uh, Captain America. Correct. Uh, uh, Thor. Thor. Yes. What um, else? It's it's the bow and arrow guy. Yeah. Uh, the Eagle Hawkeye. Eye. Hawkeye. Eagle, Hawkeye. Eagle, Eagle he, Eye. He didn't have he didn't have a back. No, he isn't. He was and then, Thor. And then uh, yeah. the the not the Avengers, but what's that girl from Shield? Whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Black Widow or something. Yeah, like Black that. Widow. She didn't Nick have Fury. Any Nick Fury's gonna have his own movie though soon. Yeah, but okay. So out of those three, Damn, that's then, sick. then you're saying that Iron Man was the greatest uh, movie series? I think so. So so far out of the Avengers, yeah. Mm, see, I'd have to. Say you know, you know, I, I heard that Spider Man's gonna be go Thor? brought into the Avengers eventually. Hmm. Really? A DC comic. <laughs> Spider Man's <laughs> Marvel. No. No, he is, dude. He is. <laughs> I was gonna say, idiot. yeah, and 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 Wolverine's gonna come too. No, that's he's freaking DC. Marvel. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> you don't know. It's in the comic books. It happens. Wolverine's in every goddamn movie. He just pops up. You know. He's, he's a, gay. He's oh, a wait, huge actor. Wait, wasn't wasn't he in the Avengers when they when they went to him and they were like, yeah, hey, you want to be? And he's like, fuck off or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was hilarious. Yeah. How much do you think he got paid for Fuck that off. like five second clip in that video? A lot of money. Yeah, oh, probably a few a few hot dogs at least. Yeah. A few few burritos. Um Alright, so any new games anyone's been playing? Well, I've been playing uh I talked about this in my um in my hump day video, but I've been playing this game called Only One. Only one. Only one. Yeah, and it's this it's a game for your iPod iPad where you're on a pedestal. And you have a controllers like a control, like a Nintendo controller, like a joystick and mm -hmm. a, a B, and not even A B, just A. It's because all you can do is swing your sword. Oh, you okay. just try and keep everybody off the pedestal. Pretty fun game. Yeah, a Pretty, lot of physics involved. No, not a lot of physics involved. Uh, really low graphic quality. Oh, it's like eight bit or. Yeah, something like that. No, oh, okay. Something like something, something like that. Something between eight lines. and ten bits. Yeah, eight and ten bits. But uh, it's actually two bits. So, I don't know. There's not much to talk about it, though. It's not much. So, of a... so are you like? Are you preferential to a game that has the 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 joy joystick or the D pad that you can see on the screen, or because I've also played ones that it's kind of invisible and it only shows up when you actually put your finger on the screen. And I feel like that's less intrusive, especially on a small screen like a phone or something. That's the way that that game is, where it's only visible when you put your thumb on the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's still like, I don't know, you, you never know how far to push the joys, but you want to push it as far as you can to go fast and then walk slower, so you yeah. never know what's the limit. That's that's the thing that will always limit handheld games, unless, I mean, there are like controller things that are that are being built, and some of them have already been built. I don't yeah. know if there's Yeah, any... there's actually this thing out for the iPhone to make your iPhone a Game Boy. Oh really? Yeah, it's a little silicone thing you put over top of your iPhone, and uh, you can actually w not play it. You can like not use it, but it just makes the experience better. But doesn't it have to be integrated within the app? Like, doesn't it have to support that? The thing is, it, you buy it separately. You can buy it separately. The game has the actual like the the D pad and the actual two buttons on the screen for for the game for like a game for. Like, oh, Mario. you mean it's like an emulator? Yeah, it's an emulator. Yeah. So it's so, not like a, it's not like an actual tactile like buttons and, and d-pad it's no, just on your screen it's on your screen but you can buy the silicone thing that goes over top of it that makes it a, have buttons and stuff. oh i see what you're oh, saying it's like a third party thing oh, okay damn that's yeah. dope so what then you can just play like game old game boy games or something yeah you can like but that makes the screen even smaller i know but if you have an iphone 5 or eventually the iphone 6 that's going to come out it's kind of a larger screen yeah it's gonna well, be a lot better does anybody know for sure because the only thing i've heard for sure about the new iphone is it's gonna cost like a hundred dollars more yeah because the screen 
Yeah, size. I think it, I'm, because I'm the screen pretty, size. I'm, no, in the, in the screen stuff they're going to be using for the screen. So. I think there's been too many rumors that it's going to be big for it not to be big. Yeah. Well, that's that's the way that phones are going now with these A large tablets. screens. Yeah, tablets. Yeah. It's retarded. Yeah, I I don't know. Appar- I mean, apparently, I, I, what's the what's the I what I'm what all I'm saying is, you have an iPhone five or even an iPhone. I have an iPhone four S. If the new iPhone comes out and it's just a bigger screen that they made it out of something weird, I don't care. I'm not going to upgrade for that. Right. Like, what's the point of a bigger screen? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. People like it. It's just like, I don't know. People are on the go so you have much an iPhone these 5? days. I have an iPhone 5C. Yeah. And I use it literally every moment of the day. Yeah, but so do I. Every second. And I've never once wondered... What, what would my phone be like if it had an extra half inch on the top? Yeah. So like, but okay, my 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 question to you is, why why why'd you buy an iPad Mini? If why not, why'd you get an iPad? If if you can get the if you can get a phone with a large screen, it's just like an iPad Mini, but a little bit smaller. A like, way smaller. It's a little bit smaller. Like you're that. telling me, you're telling me the new phone is gonna come out and it's gonna be that. I'm not like saying that. not saying that small. No, here's and this is why I got an iPad Mini. I got an iPad. Because Mini. if I'm get yeah well iPad in general because of the apps that I play and like okay. Hearthstone just but came. what if you had a large enough phone that it just they just they're cross platform now so now the the games that are for phablets are are the ones on on like yeah but this is about the iPad Mini is about as small as I'd be willing to go because even for games like Hearthstone Hearthstone almost made me when I'm playing Hearthstone I'm like this is playable and it's not like inconvenient or anything but I'm like. Mm, Maybe I wish that I would have gone with the iPad Air because I was either going to get the iPad Air or the iPad Mini, um, and and that's but that's the only times when you're typing on the iPad Mini, it's easy because it's like just wide enough at least for my fingers to where you can just you can go over the whole keyboard without. So it what if your iPad even. Mini could be a phone? If my iPad Mini could be a phone, I would not use that as a phone because it's too big. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to talk you in that Pee-wee voice. Pee-wee Herman? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> Holding this big You've reached my fabric! <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I just I just think there's a reason. I think there's a reason that the iPad's doing well, and it's because it's a happy medium between the phone and the laptop. Yeah, and but... I think that there's if there's anything that you are struggling to do with your phone, one inch more is not going to help you. It's just going to be you need an iPad or you just need to do it on your computer or what, depending on what it is. Like, yeah. I think that just these incremental changes to the the iPhone are, if anything, hindering them from, from becoming this monopoly that they were starting to become. Well, and, the thing is, they're trying to get back to that now. From all the stuff I've looked up on the iPhone 6, it's not just going to be a minimal change. It's going to be like a drastic change. From from this iPhone, from iPhone 5s, it's going to be a drastic change, and it's going to look completely different. It's going to have to be a drastic change if they want people to keep. Well, the thing is, I'm about ready to switch over. Yeah, and like, I, I feel like a lot of people are that way, and I and I don't know. Honestly, I feel like nobody knows for sure. It's all speculation. Well, yeah, I know, yeah. but everybody, I feel like everybody's tired of Apple just. Oh, here's a new skinnier thing that we're making now. Like it looks well, that's exactly what, the that's same. The main yeah. thing. The main thing is it's skinnier. We I, made it one percent skinnier. Two percent faster and three percent taller. Yeah, we put we put for 100% a hundred percent more. A sixty. This one has sixty bit processor instead, <laughs> or sixteen bit instead of eight bit processor. What is that? What what are they doing? Is that sixty four bit? Sixty four bit. Sixty bit. It's it's super bit. sixteen bit. It says a sixty four. But, like, but like really, who we who out of the, who out of the whole population gives a shit? Well, I actually did when I was getting the iPad because the I I got the iPad Mini with Retina. Yeah. And the only reason I was like. I was looking at the iPad Mini versus iPad Mini Retina, and I was like, iPad Mini is $100 less. I'm going to go with that. And then I looked at the tech specs, and this one has an A7 processor in it. And I think the other one had like an A3 or something like some, yeah, that. Something lower. The but screen. the thing is, is you'll notice that with, with games like Hearthstone and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, with games that. like Hearthstone. Like it, it'll, it'll run relatively smooth here on the iPad Mini. Um, and then if you, if you just get, if you got the normal iPad Mini, it would lag or, or do whatever. Just because yeah. as, as these processors keep getting bigger these developers are going to develop things that require more processing capacity that's why more and more in the app store when you go to buy an app you're seeing oh this is this won't work on ipod touch first gens or you know right yeah I, but I, whereas I that's your ipad when when there's people that have my phone oh yeah with a 64-bit processor that's like 
Why do you, why why does that matter? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for ninety percent of the population, they're not doing anything more with their phones that requires that much. Yeah, processing it's just power. texting and, and stuff like that. Which yeah, and I don't know. It's just, it's all gimmick though. It's all marketing ploy just to be like, oh, this is a faster processor. I want to get that phone because they're saying it's faster, but it might not really be. You know? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I feel like the Retina display was more of a gimmick than the processor because oh yeah, the processor is actually doing something, whereas the Retina is just like. Ooh, it looks we're gonna add we're gonna add twenty six yeah. more pixels and yeah. three hundred and twenty. And then they get so, Johnny Ive to be like, we added twenty six more pixels. This is where you will see <laughs> the you will see the pubic hair of the pornographic actor. So, so basically, close what we're trying to so say is uh, we hate Apple. Uh, <laughs> but we all have iPhones. But we all have iPhones. I wouldn't. I, and I just MacBooks. hate how I, MacBooks. I, I wouldn't say how I hate. I just hate how they just <laughs> always increase stuff by a little bit and they're like this is the best thing ever yeah. well no it makes sense because people will buy it well because it's a status symbol that's all it is apple is a status symbol that's it eh, i don't know i i don't see it as a status symbol like i bought my macbook pro not because i was like i want to be accepted i was like well this laptop works and it's gonna work for a long time and it has which i'm i'm fine with i know that. but you when, exactly. when apple I'll... first came out that's their whole, that was their whole goal to well, make it like, i'm not saying thing. it doesn't tailor to hipsters and stuff but i'm also it's saying... Not saying a hipster i'm saying in general it's just a status thing if you have a macbook pro you you spend a lot of money so usually people think oh this guy's a macbook pro you know he might have some money so like he has an iPhone, he has some money. It's so like when first this stuff comes out, people always buy it because it it just gives you that status. Like oh yeah, I spent a lot of money, so it makes me look like I have a lot of money. I might not have any money, but because I, I spent it on this MacBook Pro, it's been like four grand on it. Yeah. Like that's why I felt like when I was in college, everybody's buying all these crazy ass shit. You don't think so? No. <laughs> why? I just can't. I never. I never thought of that when buying my MacBook. I just thought of it because I was like. I record music, I record videos, and this seems to have the best stuff to edit and do the stuff I want I to I just do. wanted something that was going to work consistently. And, like, I have my PC downstairs, and I am, I, I think I have the perfect just system where I'm just like, all right, if I want to play games or do anything like stream or anything like that, I'm going to use my PC. But if I want to browse the web or, or, or do weird things that could, like, just fuck up my computer my my pc then i'm just gonna i'm just gonna use my macbook yeah because it's just like reliable well, i guess i guess i see what you're saying though zach is that is that uh like there are people out there that use it as a status well yeah there are and that and that's why I'm they sure. that's, that's why probably they like 85 percent of the population though and that's not 85 percent of the population you don't, you don't really think so <laughs> no why just, no, no no that's why you're basing off of your, your own opinion that's, why a, lot you? that's, a, lot no, of, that's a lot of self uh absorbed people there is a lot of self-absorbed people out there. You don't think about it. 85% though? Come on. The I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying it, that there's a high percent. Things. I'm Okay, now you're starting to widen your approach to well, it. Well, people I'm, I'm buy saying... certain things for a reason. Like, <laughs> buy, buying an Audi. Why do you buy an Audi? Why? Well, you could buy like a little tiny They have Corolla. great engines. Oh, okay. Pistons. You don't... You'd have to do research on that though. Just because you're buying for a name brand. You're buying for the brand. Alright, we're, we're just get, we're, we're getting... We're getting a little dry We're walking here. around in circles. This is a... Uh, I think well, that... Well, speaking of phones, though... Okay. I'd like to talk about uh, Google's new phone announcement, Project Aura. Did you guys see anything about this? Mm, I've heard a couple of Google news stories, but nothing about Project I heard Aura. The, I heard they came with a new camera app. Well, they may have. They may have. But this Project Aura is actually a, a project that is about to debut in January 2015. It's just going to be like a gray, bland phone just completely gray but supposedly every piece of the phone should be customizable and you can oh, buy and yeah. upgrade your phone and I pretty much build that. your own phone i didn't know that was google's thing but i did hear about a customizable phone where you're just like all i care about is the camera you can just get a sick camera on your phone and then just the rest just pretty much default yeah you can but, do you can do like whatever you want colors like everything on it's customizable yeah. like, it looks sick yeah i was like that's dope yeah, that's uh, that, that, apparently that, came out of that Google X, like where they work on weird shit in there. Yeah, that almost reminds me somewhat of MySpace, where it was just like, you could customize the shit out of your MySpace page. You could have a custom background. <laughs> was you could you could have a <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the thing is it started out really cool because everyone's like, oh, you mean I can have a rap song play every time someone comes to my page? And then, then after then a while, you have like, to like actually go in the code and be like. Well, to, if I want this song to play, I have to go into No, I'm not saying it I'm not saying it was hard. I'm just saying that after a while people were just like fed up with like there's there's a certain level of customizable where you're just like, This is too much. Like this is dumb. 
Yeah, but like, but but that's why you could just leave it. You could just leave it whatever you want, and you could just buy a case, and there's your, your, your true. Your phone. And it's not like you're visiting other people's phones. Yeah, like you, you, <laughs> at most you're seeing them. So yeah. I guess it, I guess it, it won't be that annoying. But because I, I think it's, I think it's kind of towards like people like you know, there's tons of people that like to build their own computers or add on to their computers. So it's like, why shouldn't you be able to build your own freaking phone? Mm-hmm. Everything so you're gonna else. you're saying it's gonna be upgradable, like yeah, and I think it's gonna involve like you'll be able to 3D print things for it. No, oh, wow. like they'll have 3D print parts because damn, yeah, it's just crazy. You, it should be tons of customizable and upgradable parts for your phone. Yeah, It'd be pretty nasty. And those 3D printers are just getting cheaper, yeah. They're just getting cheaper and cheaper. <clears throat> Did you see that one that was uh, what's it called? I forget. I think it was called Micro 3D. It actually was posted to Kickstarter with a goal of fifty thousand dollars, and it met that goal in eleven minutes. What? And then in one day, it was over a million dollars, and what? it broke every Kickstarter record there was. There's a three D printer, and the 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 minimum bid that you could do, and you got you get a you got the three D printer. You like once they once they start shipping them, you get you get one. This is only two hundred ninety nine dollars oh, for wow. three D printer. Yeah, so they made a uh, like one million dollars in one day and broke all the records. Yeah, but now they have to come up with all those printers. Well, they. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure they can build them now. They yeah, but them. yeah, I'm sure they can build them too. But what is the what is the total cost after everything's said and done per printer that they have for manufacturing? Oh yeah, I'm not sure. Like if it's more than two hundred ninety nine dollars, they're going to be starting. You know. No, but it looks, you know, it looks, it, it's like, it's a, it's a home 3D printer. Like, it's like one of the first, you know, home it's gonna 3D printers. It's going to be expensive printers. then. So, yeah, it, yeah the, the actual price will be expensive, but I think the the size of it is not like for printing huge things either. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's like maybe one foot by one foot yeah. cube. It's for printing little, one cube. Little one so why do you limit. think people would want to buy a 3D printer? Why would they? Yeah. I mean, I think that, I think that pretty much everything I think that three D printing is gonna go is gonna be like the future. Like yeah. everybody, every home is gonna have a three D printer. I could see and everything would be printable. I, I could see if you're like, oh, I really want to get this tool, you know. Yeah. But I think right now it'll be used as mostly a novelty item. But once the technology gets out there, I think everyone's going to adapt to it, and things are going to be like implemented like like you said, even like tools or, or yeah, something well, like, like that. Instead, like, of, instead of go buying one, you can buy just like the program. You so can just buy the template. Yeah, the yeah. template for that, and it just prints out a ratchet or whatever and you're like oh sweet or a screwdriver yeah. but literally like that technology could be used for l- anything you could you, the, somebody can make a 3d printer for food you know what i'm saying if, instead of instead what? of instead instead of you having a plastic spool you just have fucking you just like feed a hot dog nutrients or ingredients like all lined so, up in the printer and so it just fucking preserves. prints a hamburger <laughs> yeah but why would you why would you print a hamburger instead of just eating the nutrients that it has because that's fucking gross. So you want it in a particular shape. <laughs> I don't live on is the moon. That... <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> no, I'm just saying you're you're loading in the ingredients that you're yeah. gonna print your food out with. Yeah. It's not adding anything when it prints it. It's just forming it into something. Yeah. I mean, like I eat pizza. I don't be like, oh, I could eat the pizza, or I could just go buy a bunch of pepperoni, cheese, and dough, and just stuff it all in my mouth. <laughs> it doesn't cook it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, like the technology. That's not that doesn't sound impossible. Well, that that yeah. reminds me of you're like, right. to generate food though. from a printer or something yeah. like that. I'm, at, at its current state, it's not capable. But I think that later down the road, who who why wouldn't you print your maybe food? maybe right. it's like a Everything hydration thing, thing, like Back to the Future, where he put they put that little tiny pizza pizza in the hydration thing and yeah. it like, makes it huge. Have you seen that or no? Yeah, I know what yeah. you're talking about. It just he has a little tiny little yeah thing it's no it's it like in. it's like a hydrator or whatever so like it, like the pizza's like frozen or whatever frozen yeah. dried and it's, and it's super super down. super yeah. small yeah so he pops it in like his like it's like mom. popcorn but pizza yeah, yeah but, but like it, no it but it's really small it hydrates it and like heats it up and it's like a super super fresh pizza it's the same as uh like those little tiny things that you throw in the bathtub that turn into big animals oh, and yeah shit. yeah. <laughs> I still do that like those sponge like those sponge you do them night? dinosaur sponge bath. <laughs> Where's Jim at? Oh, he's upstairs in his bath. He's, yeah, he's up yeah, there, he's he's doing up there reenacting the uh, the freaking apocalypse. <laughs> With his T-Rex. Uh, well, we well an- another thing about what we were just talking about, like phones and stuff. I guess Yahoo is is trying to pos- position themselves to take over the searching uh, aspect for iPhones now. Hmm. So iPhones are really trying to separate themselves from Google after when Steve Jobs said he wants to kill Android. 
This is this is before he like passed away or whatever. He always wanted to take oh, really? Android. Oh really? He didn't yeah. say he wanted to kill an Android after he died. Well, I'm saying like when he's on his deathbed. <laughs> yeah, wasn't there that. like a thing? That's why. That's... No, the thing is they they, they got they, they got he got really mad at the guy who owns Google. <laughs> wasn't there a thing? No, the thing is. <laughs> no, no, the thing is he got mad at him because of something about the maps. And other things like they were gonna join together, yeah. But they they disagreed on some. Oh, it's two huge things. companies, and obviously there were some butting of heads. Like that kind of goes it's egos, outside. basically. Yeah. Yeah. But, so yeah. like Yahoo's trying to take over the searching, all the searching features for the internet. So oh, Apple my has dead a browser. Body. So Apple has agreed. They haven't agreed yet, but that's this. Yeah, but this, like you think that if you get into your Safari browser on your phone real quick you're not going to type in google first you're just going to type in whatever you want to search for real quick in the search gonna, bar but that's right. going to populate yahoo search yeah if it defaults results. to yahoo then you're searching on yahoo uh, like if if they can sign that contract and right now iphone's just being like whatever's not google we want to do so yeah. if yahoo can get that then that's just going to be a huge boost to their for yahoo because yahoo's yeah. dying right now they're like they're trying everything's to... dying but google every when was the last time you used ask jeeves for anything <laughs> i'm like, saying like yeah. but yahoo has different services and stuff they have a lot i think of... bing is the runner-up like to search yeah. engines i i can't yeah but yeah, obviously apple's, apple's, about bing, apple's not gonna really go with bing why i should go anywhere but google well not it's not <laughs> it's just a lot of a lot of like even programs like uh, Skype or something like that. Like I don't know if Skype does this. It's just Skype's like, owned example. by Microsoft. Yeah, but it's something where you you download and it takes advantage of a lot of people who just will install or go to install an application. And this is more for I guess PCs than Macs because in Macs you pretty much just drag and drop to your applications folder and it's installed. But for uh, PCs where you have to go through a setup process. Um, and you might even have to do something similar. You, you, you still have to do the same yeah. thing. Yeah. So, Mac, so you know, it, it's it, a lot it, simpler it, to add an application. Yeah, Mac, but it takes advantage of people who just keep hitting next, like the next button to install, because it's like, would you like to install Skype? And uh, your search the, engine the will be defaulted Bing. to Bing. No. And, yeah, and every then, time, then every time you, you open your, a new tab, you like go on your fucking internet. You're like, why is this always going to Bing? Yeah. I'm yeah. in Chrome. Yeah. So that's <laughs> I, I I think that's that's one of the big things that. And it's not it's not just that. Like I've also seen the AVG uh, search bars. Like I don't know, they'll add like toolbars to your browser. Like yeah, that's the only thing I, do, I hate. I hate it about. Well, like, that's why you have to always do things. if you if there's an option to do custom installation. You do always custom. Yeah. Always custom. Because you look at custom installation, and you're like, what is this? This is just going to show me some code or something that I have to like look up. But it's really just if you don't want all of our shit, just, just click, click these this. click these little check boxes. Click Uncheck the shit. Marks. Yeah. Uncheck these check. <laughs> Google Glass. Google Glass. Sold out. It's out to the public. And they sold out. They sold out? Yep. Yeah, one day. Really? One day. It's already sold out. It was $1,500, wasn't it? Yep. 1300 $1,500. Damn. Would you have got one? Let's Not so, for $1,500. Let, let's, say you had, let's say you had the extra money. Well, I've got, like, if I had the extra money to buy, like, a toy... <laughs> yeah, like you a had fifteen hundred dollars toy. You just had extra spend <laughs> spend cash. What would you rather spend fifteen hundred dollars on besides Google Glass? I feel like if you're walking around with Google Glass, you're just gonna get beat up. And <laughs> yeah, you look Google. like a fuck. <laughs> well, you, yeah, <laughs> not just because of of that, but it's just because I'm gonna beat that guy up and steal his fifteen hundred dollar glasses. Yeah. glasses. Uh, yeah. Status symbol. Yeah, but like it's you, another status symbol. <laughs> you can do it at work though. Like you can just wear your Google Glass at work, and then what? You don't have to think, wear your no, Google I, Glass around one of, town. One of the guys that I work with wears Google Glass. Yeah, I but, think I think the only cool thing about Google Glass is say like, if you're running, if you're a runner and you're wearing Google Glass, you can have the map of your like route that you're gonna be running. Or if you're riding a bike, you can have the map like on like you can see it. Like I, I don't I don't really see Google Glass being like something that changes everything. You know, it might be, it'd be cool for like video games and stuff. To have an additional screen, maybe that's where your like HUD is or whatever. On well, your I'll screen. tell you where it's going. It's going to contacts. Yeah, I, I actually read something on CNET today too that they so were working on contacts for Google. Plus. I think that's better. Well, no, they're, they're working on just insane. they're working on just a cam like camera. Camera, contacts. yeah. Wouldn't that be crazy that, though? Like that, Google yeah. ads, like you're like no. Yeah. About yeah. well, this fifteen hundred dollars, like Google ads everywhere. Oh, I can see these in my well, If you pay ninety nine cents now, we'll get rid of them for a day. <laughs> oh, no. Microtransactions in your brain. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That's that's worse than Terminator. Blue ones if you want to get rid of the ads. It's four dollars <laughs> a month. Oh Jesus. Oh jeez. The robots, they're gonna take over. Oh my they're god, that'd be insane. Take me away, ha -ha. They're coming Jeez. to take me away. Uh, funny farm. Um yeah, so yeah, I read I read the uh, the Google Glass story and I also read the uh, the Google Contact story. It's starting to get scary. You know it, 
I, I almost want to say that Google is, is just, and maybe they always have been, but I think that they're overtaking Apple's spot of me worrying about who's going to take, which company's going to take over the world. And at first I thought it was Apple, and now I'm starting to think it's Google. Seriously. Just slowly but surely. I, I feel like Google is going to get so big, and they're just going to be like, we're going to buy Apple. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be a pretty big purchase. Yeah. Oh, I know it would be. Yeah. I don't think that, I don't know. I, I don't know that that'd be even allowed. Probably not. They'd probably, probably not allow. Just like the bank, bank. <laughs> like I was just saying, the go- the like the when government banks might not let that happen. Yeah, because I'm like when banks buy certain banks, like they're like, oh, you can't monopolize this general area, so you have to like split up and be something different. Yeah, yeah. Do you see that compound that Apple's building? Like it's like a it's like a full circle. Really? The, the building. Where? The building is gonna be a full circle in. Uh, I think it might be in Cupertino, California. It's like the Pentagon, but rounder. Yeah, but it's like but the rounder? Pentagon, but round. <laughs> it's a it circle. Looks, it looks it's absolutely nuts. Let me see if I can pull something up here. Is it like the the Disneyland like globe thing? Well, no, what's it no. for? It's, it's gonna be their new their new corporate headquarters. Oh really? Uh, Google. Well, is I it mean, Google they, or Apple? Circle. It's... I mean, Apple. Apple. That's oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when he said Google, I was like, Google has a pretty sweet headquarters. As of Already. Right now, anyway. So does Apple too. Apple has a really cool one. Yeah. Man, this is this is totally gone on. This is technology night. This is this is tech slash mobile night. Tech mobile night. Uh, speaking of mobile, what did you hear that they're now trying to push uh, to to where it's mandatory that? Oh gosh, yeah. Holy shit! It's That's like the, we're just showing a picture of this Apple building right now. That it's called Apple Spaceship Campus. It looks like it's almost wow. like the it's almost like Halo. It's gonna yeah. be floating in the air soon. <laughs> yeah, it they just takes off one day. Just takes off. They're yeah. like, we're going to Mars now. <laughs> or this is our home base, Mars. Yeah, that's where all that's where the future is. Here's where Mars. they're currently at. Oh, <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, inside jokes. So Sorry, go ahead. Um, I interrupt you. Um, but yeah, no, I guess the uh, the government is pushing for the ability to have a kill kill switch. Oh, I saw that too. What did you? I was about to bring it up. <laughs> uh, oh, on the phone, on the, all the phones. Yeah, yeah every single carry is gonna have it. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's what they're pushing for right now, um, because you know it'll it'll uh, de incentivize people from, from stealing from phones. stealing phones because yeah. uh, basically it'll it'll be that if your phone gets stolen, it'll wipe all your contact information and make it so they can't use the phone. Um, so then, and then it, it will have like a retrieve too, so you'll be able to find it on GPS. Yeah. The cops yeah. will. But the, the, the main thing wow. that's preventing people from doing that is um, they're afraid that hackers will be able to manipulate the system and be like, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll find important people's cell phones and they'll just, you know, erase all the data and stuff like that. They can that. already do that, though. What do you mean? Like, hackers can find people's cell phones and erase all the data. Yeah, but but if, you're, if your phone had a built-in kill switch, like, you're, a hacker could just come and, and kill your phone. Mm, well, yeah. you know, like while you're just at a coffee shop and you leave the coffee shop and your phone is just dead yeah so i don't know there's probably there's probably workarounds to that as of right now but if, if you take away one form of crime another form of crime will inevitably Happen. spawn from yeah. that yeah so they're trying to they're almost trying to anticipate like well, yeah, this looks like a good thing, but what bad things will happen from this what? i don't understand thing. why it looks like a good thing why do they want to remotely turn my phone off like no, no you'll, no, you'll be able to do. No, that. it looks like a good thing for them to, for the for the phones to have that ability. In that, like you'll be able to turn your phone off. Yeah, but yeah. so will you somebody else. You 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 create a password to to get inside your phone to turn it off. Yeah, I don't know exactly how it works, but basically that's like global takeover. The government well, wants yeah, everybody that's, to I get feel that like, shit. Uh, and uh, like boom, power's out, <laughs> bitches go home. Oh, you can't say anything shit. about no more Twitter for you, fucker. Yeah, if nobody <laughs> had a phone, that would just be we would, we would all just die. We I mean, probably like, would all just die. Really though, that yeah, would be answer machines and beepers again. Who, who knows the? Who remembers the art of carrier pigeons? Nobody. Nobody remembers Nobody. it. Or a beeper. <laughs> yeah, beepers with cell phones though. That's yeah. that's that signal's lost. Yeah, if you didn't have a beeper, uh, unless you just beeping somebody and like, yeah, go use a payphone. Just kidding. There's no payphones anymore. Yeah, what are you gonna beat people to? Hey, call my number. That doesn't call, work. Call my house phone. You have to. You have to. You have to. Like, leave it. Leave a message on my answer machine. It all be lead. I'll get speak. back to you. You just have to type through lead speak on the beeper. Like call me late. Or or you do the Google do Google Glass thing and you like send them a message. Okay, so you're telling me that if we get rid of cell phones, that Google Glass will still work. They're trying to take over the world. They're in the government. They're gonna make Google Glass. Google Glass. Google Glass. Google Glass. Call, call my mom. You heard it here first. Google Glass. Call my mom. Jesus. All right. Are you guys ready for this week's video? 
Oh, we're doing yeah, a video? Yeah, let's get this week's video. Yeah, this week's video. We're doing a video. Brought to you by uh, PBS. Cheerios. All right. PBS well, Cheerios? Yeah. PBS Cheerio. I actually got a couple of videos for you. couple? This first one's called Lindsay and Am- Emily. Oh, okay. Let me try this. Right. I'm going to phonetically say it because I'm not going to spell it out. Ameli Meloptical Illusion. All right. And this is uh, a juggler. You should. We should really put the, the links in. We probably could put the links in the description. Yeah, I think it would help. To the video. <laughs> this is a juggler? Yeah, so this is a juggler. And it starts out like... He's doing this. He's doing this to the uh, to the beat of the. He's like a dancer. The beat of the song. I don't know. He's, he's a dancing juggler. Yeah, he's almost like interpretively. With the music. Yeah, yeah. He syncs up. He has like these four rings, um, in his hands, two in each hand, and the in the beginning it wasn't so spectacular. I was like, all right, what's this? But then he does stuff like that. What? Which is kind of weird. Wow, Holy he does some crap! Weird stuff. That's crazy. Yeah. So, I mean, if you look really close at what he's doing with his hands, you can see, but he has to keep it so still that it's just... Wow, that is pretty insane. crazy. Yeah, that is freaking dope as heck. Yeah, and then Dude, he just... he's getting laid every night doing this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, his his fingers have got to do wonders. I'd even let him fiddle around with my ball hole. Uh, you want to tickle geez. your taint? Yeah. But, uh, he's, one, he's one of those dudes that you see that are like at the bar with the bean bags and the glow sticks, and you're like, what the fuck's that <laughs> yeah. guy doing? And yeah. then he sits down and starts doing his stuff. Yeah. Like, what's, his, what's his amazing talent? Yeah. Um, what he can do? Where's his balls at? So, yeah. Where, did his balls drop? Shout out to... It said he was a juggler, so I haven't watched the entire video. Maybe he starts juggling <laughs> them or something. This but... is the video we're going to watch today. I haven't really watched all of it. I haven't watched the whole thing. <laughs> but the one that I have watched all of is uh, Tiny Hamster... Inhales five baby carrots in seconds, which is pretty hilarious. Wow, pretty awesome. Um, Hilarity ensues. So if if you can just imagine you were the you were the same size. Oh my as the, god! Holy shit! I mean, this in five this, seconds. This ha- they they probably seconds. never feed this hamster. Holy yeah, I mean, shit! He's just like look. He's, he's like, like June on it. He like turns his mouth to the side so he can jam. He's like in. deep throating the yeah, hell out of this. He's just jamming the hell out of those. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to save this for later. Wouldn't it be sweet if, if we had that ability? Buffets wouldn't exist, I don't think. I think he would. You would oh, my if God. If your cheeks could expand They're protruding whole food. from his back. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, oh my oh, God. Go. Where's he going? He's going to go barf now. No, he's just going to He's just gonna walk, walk what, off what the What if calories. he starts choking? I feel like he would start Seriously, choking. I don't know. If, I don't know if gerbils can even choke. Can gerbils choke? Can gerbils choke? In the comments below. Uh, can gerbils <laughs> choke? Oh, that was a hand. Choke my gerbil. Choke my gerb. Chokemygerb.com. Uh, wow. Okay, so, do we have any Twitter questions? We do. Alright. Uh, Cyrus He-Man fan says, do you believe in the supernatural? Have you ever encountered one? Have you ever encountered a supernatural? (laughs) A ghost? (laughs) A supernatural. Supernatural being of any sort. Yeah, have you? Have I? Besides that creepy story that we talked about last week on the podcast with the sleep paralysis, I'm just going to go ahead and clear out of this conversation i really well my, my old house uh when i lived um with my mom when i was younger this like we bought the house and this guy lived in it before this is the part of the podcast that everyone wants to listen to in the dark alone okay. <laughs> all right turn turn <laughs> turn your lights down and listen to my voice okay here we go well i used to live in this house with my mom with my sister and everything like that and this guy beforehand he, he used to collect guns mm-hmm. and um like and like clean them and stuff like that and he always smoked cigars mm-hmm. in the house all the time like in the basement he's had like a workshop or whatever mm-hmm. so in the basement we finished the basement and everything like that there's always tv and every time i was down there i would always hear a certain noise like something like banging on something like like metal on metal mm-hmm. like banging and i would always look around like what the hell is that yeah and then once you start getting once i start walking towards the like that, his actual workroom. I had my drums in there. Dude, it was the creepiest feeling ever, though. Walking in there and you just get like a super chill when you walk in there. Yeah. And then you smell cigar smoke. What? Jeez. It's, this is kind of a boring story, I feel like. No, I like it. Okay. Oh, really? No, but it's just the weirdest thing ever. And then like, you, like when you're upstairs, you always hear noises downstairs. And so like, I never wanted to. So it was always t- the basement. Though. The basement, because he was always down there working on guns and stuff like that. Did, do you know like if he died like some crazy way or something? No, I heard that he just like had a heart attack or something like that and yeah. just died. But like, f- for some reason he just like stayed in the house. Did you ever feel threatened? Like, because because I don't know if if there if spirits do exist, I feel like not all of them can be super pissed. No, I, I don't think he was mad. Like he was like. 
He was just chilling at his house. He was just chill, working on guns still. He was smoking a cigarette or smoking a cigar. Yeah, man. It was like... This is a crazy eerie feeling though, yeah. like being downstairs. I'd be playing games and I'd be like, Mom yeah, Like, oh geez. just run upstairs like, yeah. just like what's wrong with you? Yeah. And then then the last time when my mom was moving out, she finally saw him. It was the craziest thing. I guess he, she was like looking out the back window because she just got done packing and everything like that to move out of the house. Mm-hmm. And he's standing by the fence outside looking right at my mom. And then she was like, did a double take and then he was gone. What? Yeah, and she was like, "Well, I'm glad we're moving now because that was what? fucking creepy as hell." I just saw a big old fat man smoking a cigarette. Uh, I guess he was, no, he was like, I guess she was telling me like he's like really tall and he had like a huge beard and like all this stuff. And I was like, "Jeez, wow. sounds like the ghost of me, the ghost of Jim, the ghost of Jim." Jim yeah, I, I don't think I've seen ever seen a ghost. I'm trying to think if I have. Yeah, and I can't remember anything that memorable. Uh, yeah. Besides from that sleep paralysis thing, that's the that's the only thing that I remember. Well, yeah, and then and until last podcast when we talked about sleep paralysis, I had thought that that was my supernatural experience. Well, yeah, I, I have another one too. Okay, uh, my grandma's house, uh, like back in the day when my grandfather died or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, I was in the bathroom and I could like near his like like his room or whatever. I don't know what's like. I get all like spe- like supernatural experiences. Apparently, yeah. I was in the bathroom, and then he like I could hear footsteps walking down the hallway, and I was like, oh okay, that might be somebody. Like this is like right after his funeral. Yeah, I could hear footsteps. I so like I'm in the bathroom, and I, like the doors like the toilet's right here to the left, and the doors right to the right. So you like walk in, you turn left, there's the toilet. Yeah. So you could like open the door a little bit and see on the hallway. Open the door, nobody's fucking out there. Nobody, everybody, there's no noise at all when I open the fucking door. Nobody's up there at all. Yeah. Are you sure it was pooping? Yeah, I was like, hey, uh, who's up here? Nobody's up there. Cool. You were just door. looking out the door when you are pooping? <laughs> no, I heard the noise. Hey. Like, like footsteps, like, on wood floors. <laughs> like footsteps on a wood floor. Did yeah. you hear somebody you know? take a poop? I was on the bathroom. They're going to poop on me while I'm taking a poop? No, I meant like you heard a fart. And you're like, what was that? <laughs> oh, shit, I got wet. No, my myself. I just pooped <laughs> I on myself. Idiot. Oh, no, then, then I closed the door and then I opened it again because I heard it again. Yeah. And then I just hurry up and got off the toilet and just fucking yeah. <laughs> left because it's, cre- it's just so creepy. Like, it's like, because you get that, like, chill like, on your skin. Like, you get, like, those goosebumps and yeah. stuff like that because you, you get, like, this were presence. You, were, how old were you? I was, like, like eight or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, see, like, I, it, that kind of brought up a similar, not really similar, but a story for me. I was, uh, I don't know, I was, like, in middle school or maybe even younger. And we, it might have, it might have even been elementary school because we had just moved into my uh, parents' newer house, and and we were getting all settled in, and and we went to the grocery store one day, and you know those like twenty five cent machines where you like get like stupid little cheap stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, one of them had like a bunch of skull rings and like skull necklaces and stuff, and I was like, these are awesome, <laughs> and I got like a ton of them. You my got mom, super evil. And my mom was like, my mom was like. God, you shouldn't, Andre. Why are you getting those? Like those are evil, and I was just those like, are evil. Yeah, oh my God, that would scare the hell out of me. They were like they that. were like scare they were like scary looking like skulls and like devils and shit like that. But I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get these and wear them. Mom, I'm goth. And Let I was, me do what I and want. And I was just like, I was wearing them all on, on my hands, and I was walking around the house like, yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna go to sleep in these. And I went to sleep in them. And I woke up, <laughs> and I was just like, for whatever reason, like I just couldn't turn my, I couldn't turn my light on. Like I don't know if it burned out or something. And I was like trying to turn my ceiling fan on, my ceiling fan light on, and it just wouldn't turn on. And I was just like panicking. And I was just like, and I went up, I, I tried to go upstairs to my uh, parents' room, yeah. but their door was locked. So I was just like, what the hell is going on? And I remember going into my sister's room, and I was just like, I was like trying to wake her up. I was like, you have to get up. Like something crazy is happening right now. Wait, what was happening? I, I I just felt that I just couldn't felt, turn on the lights. Yeah, well, you just felt like a rush of energy. Probably like like you're like scared. Like yeah, I just felt I just felt like some someone was there with me. Like I felt like something was happening, and I was just like super scared. And my parents my parents were upstairs by themselves, and my sister banging wasn't, wasn't banging really with the door banging. lock. And you're like, what is that noise? Yeah, what is that noise? <laughs> I hear you. I hear the ghosts moaning. Oh, oh. <laughs> I feel like my parents. Yeah. <laughs> And that's when I walked in on my mom and dad. <laughs> dad, what are you doing to mom? For the second time. No, <laughs> it's like <Sire>. her. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out some <laughs> everywhere. There's an explosion of ghost liquid. Oh, oh, my it's my ghost God. blood. It's white. <laughs> it's ghost blood. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, uh, no, you but, tell, you no, but your sister's room. So yeah, yeah. Sorry. My sister wouldn't wake up, and it was just like it was horrible. I think I ended up actually like sleeping on the floor Next by her sister. bed because I was just like. This is so like this is creepy. This Dude. is creepy as hell. And I remember the next the next day, <laughs> the next day I put all those rings in a little. You remember pogs? Yeah. You remember the pogs? Yeah. Oh, I have like a case for my pogs. You, I put them all in it? that case and I buried them. I would so bury backyard. that shit too. What? I was like, fuck this. This is dumb. But after that, I never. It was never <clears throat> nothing ever. Those again. rings were on. Yeah. We should go, we should go dig them up. No, oh, no. The thing is, the I, I I buried them by my creek, so it's like really swampy land. And I was like, Swampy a lakes. couple years later, I was like, I wonder if I can still go find this. And they were just gone. Either they like sunk down into the ground or no, the they went spirits to hell. took them away. They went to the hell. spirits took them away. Yeah. Dude, what, all I thought is when you were like shaking your sister, I thought she was going to turn on and be like, what, Andre? Oh, yeah. 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 You think I'd still be here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'd be, I thought you'd be... <laughs> I'd be in an insane <laughs> asylum. Right? No. You'd be dead. Yeah. yeah, you'd die. You'd be yeah. seriously in a straitjacket. Yeah. That'd be fucking crazy as hell. Yeah. What, Andre? What, Andre? That's the thing about like. In movies, when there's like haunted little kids, oh, it's those like, are fucking. Super I almost want to say that I just want to instinctively run up and just punch them in the head because they're tiny. <laughs> but like the Chucky. thing is, if they're if they're possessed by the devil, they probably just have insane strength and they're just gonna kill. They just you. grab oh, your yeah. fist and crush yeah. your hand. Usually, if you're possessed by the devil, you have insane strength. Yeah, that's, usually, but that. when you're possessed by an angel, you, you just you flutter around. You just flutter around. Touch, you flutter. It's called touched by an angel. Touched, touched by, by an angel. angels don't possess you. <laughs> 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 I'm possessed by an angel. <laughs> God told me to kill you. <laughs> oh, what's man. that? What's that one movie though with the angels? Then when they come back, like or angels in the outfield. Yeah, uh, seventh heaven. Seventh heaven. Seventh heaven. No, but like they're coming to kill this like baby that's in this like woman's stomach or whatever. Yeah, that's oh. uh. We were talking about this movie yeah. the other day, and we couldn't figure that out. That, so all, that has the creepiest sweet, old lady. Yeah, yeah oh, she's, she's like, like, your baby's, your baby's gonna die. Your baby's gonna be retarded. <laughs> she says it's gonna die. <laughs> no, she says it's gonna burn. Your baby, it's gonna burn. And, and she's, she's like, like, what? Yeah. And then the, the old woman's like, <laughs> and crawls yeah, over the fucking ceiling. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to talk. That, that, the crawliness is what creeps me out. The Grudge, hands down, the scariest movie I've ever seen. And it's just because of, well, first it's because of that weird noise that it makes. Yeah. And then it's because of, like, just how it moves. Yeah. It's just like, it just, like, crawls, like, and it, like, tilts its head like, back. It's, like, and broken in half. Though. Yeah, it's just yeah. really That's creepy. That's a sick, I, triple whoever, joint. Whoever came up with that idea. <laughs> Jeez, I did Jesus hear I could something over there, too, bro. Did you hear that? Oh, no, it's a supernatural event. It'd be great if we just ended the podcast. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, with us screaming. Yeah. But, <laughs> but there, were, there was one other supernatural uh, story that I just wanted to say briefly. Um, one of my friends was talking about his sister one time, how she was just like, and that's the thing. It's like, oh, you, had these, you had these memories when you were younger, and I had these memories when I was younger, but like, his sister was like, uh, they, just, they just moved into this new house, and, and, and you know, she's talking about, uh, who's, this, who's, the, who's the man that lives in the, in the room over there, or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember the Was she like little, story. little? Yeah, she wasn't like super my little. Sister, my sister had like imaginary friends, and I was like 12. My, uh, this is, you can finish your story. Yeah. All the time. No, I mean that was that was pretty much so the gist of it. Creepy. Yeah. Out. It's just she's like, who's the who's the man that who's the man that lives on on in this house with us? Oh, yeah. And geez. it's just like, if you heard that, like if I had a daughter and she was saying that, I would, we need to move the fuck out of here. I'd, yeah. I'd kill my daughter. I'd kill my daughter. Oh my get God. out. And then she'd turn into the ghost and haunt the next people. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> oh it's my. a vicious cycle. No, but like my sister would be like, who's this is my friend Lucy? <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> You're like, what are you talking about? There's nobody there. My friend Lucy's here. Okay, like, well, if she says it creepy like yeah. that, that's my a little different. My friend Lucy is my, here. My friend Lucy? My friend Lucy doesn't like you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I would shit a brick. <laughs> that's just like paranormal activity. Yeah. That one, that one, one. God. <laughs> copyright. I think we just had a copyright infringement. There. Copyright. Paranormal. All right, so who, who, what question, who sent in that question? That was uh, Cyrus. Cyrus. Cyrus is my name? Cyrus no, is my name. No, it's. Uh, Siren is my game. It's Cyrus He Man fan. Oh well, yeah, I think Cyrus fan at Cyrus fan two. Cyrus fan two. So that was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good question, Cyrus. I like that. Thanks for the question. Um, could you talk about the crisis in Ukraine? No. Uh, <laughs> are you finished with college? What is your major? Mm, no. No pre screening screening of these questions. <laughs> no pre screening. <laughs> so no, I, I no pre screening. Like, like, nah. Yeah, here's <laughs> the like questions we didn't question. pick. Um. 
that's going to get us in too much of a conversation. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, Heaven forbid. If you had to kill someone, how would you do it without getting caught? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good question. I think I would... Uh, icicle. Icicle? Yeah. Stab him with an icicle. The icicle melts. No weapon. What would you do with the body? I don't know. Leave it hanging around. Ah. <laughs> You'd still get caught. Yeah, no, no. That guy, they'd find a dead body, but then... No they, fingerprints. They, no fingerprints. No, we're talking about untraceable, like the murder, like no one even can find the body or anything. Oh, that's or what we're talking is, is that how in-depth this that's, tweet was? That's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> what would you he only has 140 there? characters, but that's what All right, what would you do, how then? you do without getting caught? Yeah. Let's hear, you, let's hear your story. I think I would do... Uh, well, part of me wants to say that instinctively I'd do it the Dexter way. Just throw them overboard. I feel like you're staring at me right now. Bag. I am, because I want you to know how I'm going to kill you. This but, deadly. but no, if you feed them to pigs, like pigs will eat every like, single part of the body. Like the Silence of the Lambs? Like the second movie or whatever? Or I, don't know, I never saw the second Silence of the Lambs. I, don't know, I, don't I think know. I saw that. I think I did see the pig thing on a Criminal Minds one time. And they're just like, you feed, you, you can feed whatever you want to pigs. You start, you start feeding pigs like flesh nails. Like either that or if, if I got, if I got uh, access to like... You know, a crematorium or something like that. A crematorium? Yeah. Incinerator? A crematorium? <laughs> that Whatever. Is, that's the thing, isn't it? I don't it know. Is, it never heard of crematorium. Yeah. So if yeah, you, I know it is. You, you, know, you know, you used to work in... You, you, there's no, like, ghost stories that you're, like... Oh, yeah, you know, to... that's the podcast that we lost. What? Because we did lose a podcast. Yeah. Oh, uh, where I worked at the cemetery? Yeah, yeah. where you worked at the cemetery. Oh, yeah, no ghost stories. That's no surprising. Ghost stories so surprising. Well, I didn't work there in... In the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here at midnight still digging this grave. <laughs> who, who worked there with you? Griffin. Yeah, God. Yeah, that, that, that never resulted in any So were there, were there any crazy stories? Partly because I don't remember and partly because we technically haven't talked about them. Well, well my dad my dad does sell. He sells. He's, he he works, used to work for a funeral home. He still does in, in Las Vegas. Yeah. They used to work for one in Columbus. And so there was, they had everything there. Dead bodies there, whatever. And they were getting, uh, to, what's it called? Beautified or something? Yeah, what's that called? Mummified? No, not mummified. When they put the makeup on them for the funeral and they dress them up. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Yeah. It's called something. But, uh, so this guy was in there and he said he saw him in there. It's, uh, the, uh, maybe it's the morgue or something. But he sees the door open and he looks in and the dude, like, had little red speckles all over him. What happened? He got shot with a shotgun. Uh huh. He was, that's how he died. And what had happened is. Shit. He, he was at in the parking lot of some store, and he went up to some old man in the parking lot that was just loaded his stuff into his car, and he was about to rob that man with a knife, and that guy turned around and just blew him away. Holy him. He was, shit! Like, expecting it? He just has had a gun in his car. He had like where, like his door, like underneath his yeah, seat or something. Like man. he was in the he was in the front front door, getting ready to get in his car. And the guy, like I don't know if he had like a gun on him, and he said like don't move or something. Yeah. But he just turns around and just boom, boom, boom dead. Wow. So he kind of deserved it. <laughs> yeah. See, I mean, he was gonna rob I mean, he somebody. Could've... and He just got blown off. He could have been like super poor, trying to steal food for his family, and just. Died. I really need this we're man. Gonna, we're gonna say he was an asshole. You're, you never know that. I mean, like you never know. You could be. I right. really like, need this money, I, man. I'm sure a lot of people that get killed or or commit crimes are doing it because that's the last fucking thing they can do. Yeah, it's the last ditch ever. Well, they, they yeah. just love the adrenaline rush. That's that's different. That's true. a different. I mean, that's, that's a different kind of criminal. Yeah. But, there's multiple criminals. Yeah, I mean, regardless of what you're doing, crime. regardless of what you do, I think there's enough systems put Under in place pressure. to where you can. Uh, you had at least, even if you're at, that's your only option. You had a lot of other chances to do something about it. But yeah, but some people aren't educated enough to know what to do. Yeah. Go to school. And that's, that's why, why you stay in school, school, kids. Stay, stay in school. school. Don't drool. You can drool. Just drool into a cup and save it for later. It tastes better that way. Tastes better. Tastes better. Uh. Any last questions? Are we? Uh, I didn't see any other. Ones. I, didn't, I, didn't see uh, any. I did see uh, one of our good friends, not a bad John, posted a quick question: Why do my farts smell worse when I'm in the shower? Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why is that? Why is that? Jeez. I mean, it it's always a thing that like is maybe it's the steam. It's like heat rises or something like that. The, yeah. the heat, the heat, like and it is my the, 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 the gas yeah. is hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's, hot, yeah, it's but, a hot, hot fart. But the steam, like the steam, does like it, like reacts with it. 
to make it more intense. Oh, or if you like take a poop and then you take a shower and you come out, you're like, whoa, that did not smell like that before. Yeah, that smells like rancid. Bomb. No, it's that's not the bad one. It's when you take a shower and then take a poop. Why? Wait, when well, you're just hopping in the shower and you're like, oh, I got a toilet like coming I out. Feel, I feel like wet on the toilet seat. Like, I'm I'm like, <laughs> oh no, you just got it. You got a super, super dry the insides of your legs. How do you do you that? You grab the towel first and you're like, I really got shit. I got a <laughs> shit. But I got to dry my legs off. Do you just hop straight out of the shower? Dude, and I usually the do. I'm just like, Poof. oh, you thank really? God. You, should, you, you hop out of the shower right onto the toilet. That's the worst order to do. I don't even. I don't even put my feet on the floor. I'd rather take a shit in the shower. Yeah, oh just smush God. it through with your toes. Oh, through the drain? Yeah. Perfect. I mean, I'm done. Uh, uh, here? Okay, <laughs> yes. that's that. a podcast. <laughs> All right. Well, we hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of... Uh, episode 9. Amateur Hour. Amateur Hour. Uh, you can reach us at... next week for the Big 1-0. Oh. The 1-0. Oh. Big 1-0. Oh. Big 10. We're Big hoping 10. to bring out a lot of supporters. A lot of supporters. A lot of supporters. A lot of supporters. Uh, it's been a journey, and... I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank my two semi-decent friends for joining me tonight. Semi. I got a semi. He's got a semi. Any any closing statements for either of you? You can reach us out on our Twitters, at Blavishkin, at Jimmy Andy, and at Mr. Phantasmo. If you have any questions, reach yeah. out to us. If you have any tw- questions, please uh, reach out. Send all your all your hate questions to at uh, Blavishkin. Yeah, and social, social, any, any social recommendations. Like what to do for tomorrow night? Social recommendations. What? I don't even know. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Please tell us what to do. Let's let's just. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. That just ruined that. <laughs> cut that Any out. Social recommendations. Oh, I tried to run with it. It was terrible. I ran backwards. That's what you tried to run with. Got you were shades, shades in with, class. With eyeballs in the shades. So they either thought you were drunk, stoned, or asleep. <laughs> All of those are bad things to be in class. All not the above. Dude, yeah, one time, one time I fell asleep in class, and then class was dismissed, and I didn't wake up. And Holy my shit. teacher, she was so hot, and she came up, she grabbed me. She grabbed your like my on balls. the genitalia. She yeah. grabbed your balls. Yeah, just kidding. Oh. That was a porno I saw. This, once. this, I, I fell asleep. Wait, and... wait, none of that story was true. Oh. None of that was true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this one time I fell asleep in my t- typography class, and my teacher. Always, I fell asleep because the class was like at like seven thirty in the morning. This right. is when I was in like in Pittsburgh or whatever. Yeah, at first school, she always she always fell asleep for maybe like like fifteen minutes, but she would always slam the books on the table and be like, "All right, Zach, wake the hell up." I'm like, "Okay." She'd yell at you. Like yeah, that? in front of everybody. She said, "Wake the hell up." Yeah. Jesus, I'm surprised she didn't just kick you out of the class. She must have liked me though. Oh, I don't yeah. know. She must have liked you. Yeah, must have. <laughs> I never got kicked out of class for sleeping. Yeah. Usually they just leave you. They either like leave you there. I saw this one kid, like Jack, exactly almost what Jim said. Not, no nut grabbing, though. Yeah. The teacher's like left. We all left. And the kid was still sleeping in there. <laughs> yeah. We didn't wake him up at all. Yeah, there's been a couple times when kids have fallen asleep in my class, and some of the times they'll like start snoring. It's like, oh, Jesus. What are you doing? <laughs> How are you snoring? Yeah. I guess at, uh, at my job, a uh, guy who used to work there uh, a while back, I heard some stories about him, but he would just come in hungover. Every single day he'd be Holy hungover, shit, really? and he would just fall asleep at his desk. and And they were like, and we don't mean like he was just dozing off, like, like his head was asleep. Nodding. He was just <laughs> leaned back in his chair, just like <laughs> mouth back, open, just just going to town on this sleep fest. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, Where's your boss? At? And my boss, like the thing about our offices, it's just all desk, so it's all open. You can see everyone, and he just never noticed because he's like off in his own world doing his own stuff. Oh my god! And so god. Uh, a couple of uh, my coworkers like hit up him and up on Skype and they were like, Hey, this guy's sleeping again and he's like, What do you mean again? And he just like what went do over you mean again? Like, went over. I load this truck and I fell asleep in the break room for like a half hour. My boss comes back there and she's like like hits me with something and I don't wake up and then she oh like come, leaves again. She comes back like five minutes later and she's like, You're still not up and that scares the shit out of me. I'm like, oh, I didn't mean to fall asleep at all. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, were you falling asleep like? I was like nodding off like. Like where? Like I was. What time? I was on my break. Like uh, my, my break. Like you get like 15 minute breaks or whatever. Yeah. And I, just, I was sitting at the table like this, like nodding off like with my like. Hold, that nobody can see me right now. Yeah, like so, this. so n- nuzzling my chin with my hand and having my elbow on the table gently, and just gently nuzzling it. And just like dozing off, like brushing your two fingers. Between and all I, I don't remember. I guess I like my hand slipped out, and my head hit the fucking table, and I still was out cold. What? Like sleeping. Yeah, I woke up like like on the on the table with my face on the table. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so you think you're headed to the table and you were still asleep? Yeah, I was still asleep apparently. <laughs> and my boss came in and like hit me and I didn't wake you're up. You're like one of those ogres from like oh, or something. Right? Dude, you Dude. are like an ogre. <laughs> no, no, but it's hard to like, wake it, like this. It, it up is in the though. It is though. But that, the thing is, I say stuff when I'm sleeping. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like consciously, I don't know what I'm saying. If only there was a term for that. I don't sleep sleep talk. <laughs> sleep talk. Sleepwalking. <laughs> sleep. No, but I, used I sleepwalk. To, I no, say I used stuff. To, when, I, when I was when younger, I, I used to sleepwalk all the time. Yeah. And my mom got super scared. She so used to lock my bedroom door. Yeah. And then d- double lock the front door because I would literally walk out. Yeah, and I just start out walking too. everywhere. Yeah. I used to, I I tried to sleepwalk and get out of the car when I was a little kid. Holy shit! Yeah. Really? Yeah. My mom said I like opened the door halfway th- on the freeway one time, and she's like, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> You know what I mean? I sleep, suicide. Suicide. sleep suicide. Sleep suicide. It's a, it's, I just want to end my life. It's a special club. All my friends told me I, I just want to end my life. But anyways, <laughs> the only reason I brought up this whole sleep thing is to tell you guys. <laughs> um, last night, I was sleeping with Morgan. Hey, Ooh, hey, hey, and hey, uh, hey. and I remember the dream that I was having because it was like I wasn't fully in the dream because I woke up because she had to go pee or something and woke me up. And when she got back, I was like dozing off again. And I... Welcome to Amateur Hour. This is Amateur Hour. This should be a this should be a rousing time. We're here. This arousing. is arousing. You're are you I'm aroused, aroused right now? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna wait a really long time and hope that everyone thought that I died or uh, you guys dead. kicked me out of the podcast or something like that. <laughs> just he's like, dead. So Mr. Fantasma's not on this one, huh? No, he's upstairs in his room. He's about to call in. I'm about to. He's about to call in you sick. Know, you, know, you realize the joke's off by, by now. I've already talked. The joke's off by now? Yeah. <laughs> what joke? Yeah, I don't know. We never. We think we have a lot of jokes in this podcast, but there's never really any jokes. Did you see how Almost you're the only no one that laughed right there? Welcome. What? Did you see how you're the only one that laughed? Yeah, sometimes you got to laugh at yourself. Laugh at yourself. I'll kill you, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> you guys Here we go gonna, again. You guys are going to be murdering each other and, you're la- and laughing at yourself at the same time. I'll murder you in my sleep. You know, have you have you ever uh, had a dream that it was? Were you sleep paralysis? <laughs> <laughs> I I kind of remember that. Yeah, have no, you ever dreamed? No, it's like you're, you're maybe not. This sounds so much like sleep paralysis, but you're maybe <laughs> not like fully in a dream state, and you you're like doing something in the dream, and it makes you like jump or do something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Where like you fall asleep and then you fall like off a cliff in the dream. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've like <laughs> fell asleep in like when I was in class before. And like, oh, like something scares me. You always like move, and you're like, <gasps> and you look around. Like everybody's like looking at you. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? You fall yeah. asleep in class? Yeah, like in like college. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, in college. That's yeah. what we do. <laughs> in yeah. every class of my whole life, I fall asleep. In. <laughs> I just have this problem. I just fall asleep randomly. So, oh. and, and then you always wake up startled. No, like, uh, like th- th- it just happened this one time. I was having a crazy dream, and something jumped, and I like jumped, and my chair moved back, and my eye moved back, and everything, <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> Uh, nothing. I'm not doing anything. Was it a small class? Yeah, it's like yeah, it was like a, I was a art class. Oh wow, it was a painting class. I so everyone already class. knew you were asleep. Yeah, uh, I was wearing glasses though. I guess there, uh, that means I had a dream that you and me, Jim, we were standing on this log in the middle of this what? river, and it was like it was just like hurtling down this river, and we, and we were like, is we this like, one log? Yeah, it was it was one log, and it was like. Was it rolling? Like you yeah, it was, keep it was rolling, and we were like running, and we were like trying to help each other. And you were like, it was almost like defying gravity because you would like lean really far one way, and I'd be like, I got you, and I'd run the other way, and you'd pop back up. So we were like working as a team to try and stay afloat, basically. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we both look ahead, and there's a waterfall at, at the end, and all, and for some reason, that just that just said to both of us, all right, now we're gonna fight to the death. So we're like, all of, a sudden, all of a sudden we go from we go from helping each other out to like having this karate battle on this log. Oh my and, god! And so like I'm kicking you and I'm kicking you and I go to kick you like to kick you, you off. Kick Morgan. And I accidentally oh. need Morgan right in the back. <laughs> oh my god! And she's like, "What? Are you kidding me?" She's like, and then and then I didn't know what to do, so I just acted like I was asleep. <laughs> She like oh tried to wake God. me up, and I was, I was like, uh, uh, uh. And "She's like, do you know what you just did?" And I was like, uh, "Just go back to sleep." <laughs> just go back to sleep, and then all you just like lay there wide eyed, like, yeah. "Holy shit!" I just yeah. need Morgan in the back. But I like wasn't. I was did like, "Hit her pretty hard." Yeah, 
I did. She has a huge bruise now. <laughs> yeah, I, I she's gonna know. go into work and be like, "What's wrong with Morgan? My yeah. back hurts. My boyfriend beats me when I'm sleeping." Because <laughs> it was like the finishing kick. Oh my god! And finish him instead of going to the face <laughs> or right into her back. Dude, what if you like were standing up and you just kick Morgan oh right in the face? God. Yeah, I just like go from a sleeping pose, jump up to the standing position, and just deck Morgan with your so fucking wait, shin. So did she say anything about it in the morning? She did say this morning. She's like, "Do you remember?" kicking me last night and you and obviously like, said no uh, no I was like uh, I think I, I might remember that I don't know <laughs> you, should have, you should have still denied it and then said it on here and then yeah. <laughs> she listens to it yeah. that motherfucker <laughs> yeah. yeah I doubt she'll, I doubt she'll listen to this so hope we're tapped on he's like we need to go talk he's <laughs> like this job isn't very hard and if you're gonna fall asleep you're fired <laughs> yeah and this job is not very hard yeah. He's like, apparently his, whatever he was doing wasn't very hard, which may be why he was like, oh, I can just get wasted every night and sleep during work, but still yeah. he kind of, work maybe two awake. hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. I, I've, I've, I've been at work one time and I like felt like I was going to, I did in a, well, I can't even talk. <laughs> I felt like I was like, oh, you know, gonna, my, my eyes were drifting yeah. off for a second yeah. and I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I had to get some you have coffee. to, you have to get up and start moving. Yeah. I've, I've had yeah. that before. Well, yeah. One time, uh, at one of my older jobs, I, when I was like, in like high school or something i was like i don't want to i don't want to be here and I, w- I got super tired one day and i just went into the bathroom and i just sat on the toilet and i was like i'm just gonna close my eyes you I'm fell like, asleep on the oh, toilet oh my yeah, god and i fell asleep and i woke up to the sound of my phone hitting you know that toilet bowl like that little piece <gasps> holy of holy shit bowl? your phone went in the toilet no it bounced <laughs> off oh, of the front of the toilet scared seat the shit out and of hit you. the floor i was like I don't really feel like explaining that to my parents. Like, if my phone falls in the toilet, like, why did your phone? Well, I fall asleep at work. In and the fell between yeah. my crotch. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, all right, that's enough. That, enough's enough. I cut my <laughs> penis with my phone. So I don't know how, exactly how long I was asleep, but it was, eno- it was enough for me to lose mobile function in my hand. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I remember uh, being in Pittsburgh and working at CVS. And uh, every week, every Saturday, we would do a truck. So we'd unload a truck at like three in the morning. Yeah. So like no rain, snow, sleeting, no matter what. I had to walk all the way to CVS. And my, my, my apartment was probably like a mile and a half away. So I, there was no buses running at the time. So I always had to walk to work. Yeah. Like three in the morning, downtown Pittsburgh. Dark as hell. Not, not hardly any lights on. So three this, in the morning is almost like going to bedtime for crazy people. <laughs> yeah, I know. So that's like so you're like, waking up and going to no, work. No, but I had to be at work at three and I didn't get to leave until noon. Yeah, unloading a truck the entire time. So every not, this happened once, but every every time I'd have to do this every Saturday, mm-hmm. and it was probably the worst. This is probably one of the worst jobs I've ever had in my life working at CVS. Yeah. So I had 